Ukraine's victory plan with President Volodymyr Zelensky will present in the United States provides for the continuation of the operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. The Times reports this. Thus, Zelensky's plan includes security guarantees for Ukraine from Western countries similar to the Mutual Defense Pact upon joining NATO. The plan also calls for the continuation of the operation in the Kursk region to provide a territorial bargaining chip for negotiations. The Victory Plan also contains a request for specific advanced weapons and international financial assistance for Ukraine's devastated economy. Zelensky is traveling to the UN General Assembly in New York and then to Washington to present a Victory Plan aimed at pushing Russia to negotiate with Ukraine, The Times writes. According to the newspaper, Zelensky will also demand security guarantees to prevent Ukraine from being forced into an unfavorable peace deal by a future Trump administration. Recall, Volodymyr Zelensky has begun a high-stakes visit to the United States, during which he will present Kiev's plan to end the more than two-and-a-half-year-old war against invading Russian forces to U.S. President Joe Biden, as well as election rivals Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Zelensky, who will also attend the annual meeting of the United Nations, urged Ukraine's allies to help achieve a shared victory for a truly just peace. He is expected to present his peace proposals, which he has dubbed a victory plan, to Biden on Thursday before later meeting Harris, who is vice president. His office has said he expects to meet Republican candidate Trump on Thursday or Friday, although no date has been officially announced. The Ukrainian president is in the U.S. after a summer of intense fighting, with Moscow advancing in eastern Ukraine and Kyiv occupying tracts of Russia's Kursk region. Zelensky made an unannounced stop under extraordinarily tight security at a Pennsylvania munitions plant which manufactures 155mm artillery shells. The shells are vital to Ukraine's war effort and has already received more than 3 million of them from the US. I began my visit to the United States by expressing my gratitude to all the employees at the plant. Zelensky wrote in a post on X including photos of him shaking hands with workers at the factory. It is in places like this where you can truly feel that the democratic world can prevail, he wrote. Firefighters in the province of Córdoba in central Argentina were trying Saturday to put out the fierce fires raging in the region for three days. Local authorities said the flames had reached homes, and many neighbors were evacuated in Los Cocos and Capilla del Monte towns. This fire was really severe, we saw desperate people, we saw houses catching fire, we saw injured people. There's a boy who got burned and suffered injuries, burns on his body. So it was very tough, said Leonardo Heredia, a member of the civil defense of the town of Los Cocos. A combination of strong winds, high temperatures, and low humidity favored the fire, which spread high flames that were difficult to control due to the weather conditions, explained Heredia. We toured the areas affected by the fires in the Punilla Valley, in the town of Capilla del Monte and surroundings, where we have evacuees, the governor of the province of Córdoba, Martín Lariora, informed through social media. Y bueno, ayer fue un día durísimo, un infierno en todo el pueblo, se quemaron casas, eh, fue un, una tarde que el fuego pasó muy rápido, que es, con todo el laburo de todos los bomberos, bomberos locales, bomberos de casi todo Córdoba.